Welcome back to Intro to Subdees and Alias. I'm John Hardigan. So we're going to pick up where we left off and we're going to start creating some ears for this monster. And we'll be using some tools that we're already familiar with, but we're also going to use Surface Fillet. And that's going to demonstrate how we can use Subdees and Nerves together. So I'm going to start by making the body invisible just so we can see better. And then I'm going to create a Sub-D box and place it there. We'll select one of the scale cubes and then we can do a proportional scale and spread that out a little bit. And we're going to need a little bit more control, so I'm going to add a span in the Y and that looks pretty good. Okay. And something that I like to do is use only the faces that I need. So as this end is going to go into the body, I'm going to select this face and I'm going to delete that. When deleting parts of the sub D, make sure you delete the face and not the surface. And now we'll just carry on by doing some more transformations. We'll scale that down, pull it in, yeah, move that there. And of course, again, I'm only going to get this close, but you can feel free to spend more time on it. Okay, I'm going to go with that. And then to save time, I'm just going to duplicate this across. So I'll select the object, go to Edit, Duplicate object, and I've already determined that I want to move it over about 50 millimeters from center line. And then, of course, because we want a mirrored object, we want to change the scaling to negative one. So I'll select duplicate. There we are. And let's put that in place with transform. Oops, just pick vertices this time. Transform. And I'll scale this down a little bit. Move them in. And good. we're going to call that good. Now let's turn the body back on and make sure that we have a good intersection between the ears and the body. And it looks like we do. I'm also going to turn the CVs off on this just to clear things up for you. And now we're going to do a fillet between uh, the two sub D's and that will be a NURB. So we'll go to surfaces, surface fillet, chord, G1 tangent, that's okay, and we're going to do a chord length of one. So I'll go and select the ear surfaces, or the ear sub D, and then the faces on the body that we'll be filleting between. Arrows look like they're in the right direction. Let's build that. And I had trim on, so what it's done is it's trimmed away the unneeded portions and just left us with a nice fillet in between. And with history on, which I don't have right now, but if I did, you could change the shape of the body or the ear and the fillet would come along for the ride. So let's do that again over on the other side here. Those, and then we'll select the surfaces on the body and build. There we go. So now we've integrated sub D's with NURBS and they work interactively, which is really nice. Thanks for watching, and next time we'll finish the monster up with creating his face.